Video games. Almost everybody enjoys playing one of some sort on some platform. The industry itself is a $200 billion global one. Esports is gaining ever popular, and we see it in the introduction of high school sports teams, or should I say esports teams, globally, competing nationally. And the desire to attend or watch traditional sports is on the decline for the past couple of years and continues to be the case. Video games have spanned the decades as well as a gamut of platforms. You have arcade systems, home consoles, handheld devices, computer technology, and mobile devices. However, little is known about the first ever video game that actually started it all. It is up for debate, however, as to what the first video game was, but it is widely accepted that the first video game was called OXO, also known as Knots and Crosses, or Tic-Tac-Toe. It was part of a British professor A.S. Douglas doctoral dissertation at the University of Cambridge in 1952. This game was a single player one and was designed strictly for academic purposes. However, Douglas used the electronic OXO on the famous electronic delay storage automatic calculator or as it's widely known as EDSAC to study the interactions between humans and computers. OXO, as we said, was academically designed, so it wasn't very entertaining. The reason we previously said that it's up for debate is because that in 1958, William Higginbotham created Tennis for Two on a large analog computer and connected oscilloscope screen for the annual visitors day at the Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York. And yes, of course, if you look at the timestamp, obviously 1952 is before 1958, but others argue the technology used and the way it functioned that the Tennis for Two is actually the first video game. It wasn't until the 1980s that video games actually became very popular and started picking up steam and was on almost everybody's homes. Although there's some still controversy over how to define the first video game, the oscilloscope actually wasn't a video display since it wouldn't convert electronic signals. It seems fairly clear that Higginbotham had conceived of an interactive amusement using a computer a screen and a program a concept further refined by 1961's space war and every game that has followed if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe hope everyone is being safe during this global crisis thank you for watching